Hey guys, my name is Taylor and welcome to my visual diary. And on today's video, we are gonna spend 24 hours in Paris. If you're new here, please like, comment, subscribe. I am a travel vlogger now and I'm also into books. So if that's interesting to you, come on and join a little, join a little channel. Like, come on, join, we're family over here. Today's video, like I said, is gonna be 24 hours in Paris. I'm originally from Atlanta, Georgia. I had Atlanta, Georgia. I had a commenter um, say like, where am I from? I'm from Atlanta. So I came from Atlanta, Georgia to Paris. The flight time was like eight hours and 10 minutes. I flew Air France and I don't know if I put it inside of like the intro to this video, but I think my flight for the trip was like 600 bucks. I think the standard cost for like a Europe flight from Atlanta is in between 11 to 1500. I did fly nonstop and on my way back, I'm flying Delta, but I do have a layover in Heathrow, which is in London, England. And yeah, so that's like my, how I got here vibe. Why 24 hours? I'm actually going to Nice tomorrow. And so um, I didn't wanna like travel to Paris, then immediately have to get on a flight because I did that when I went to Edinburgh. I traveled to London, then immediately got on a flight and went to Edinburgh. And that was just a very long, exhausting travel day. And I was like, let me learn from that and break up my travel time. So what I'm doing is I'm taking 24 hours in Paris and then I'm gonna fly out tomorrow morning to Nice. I'll be in Nice for three days. What we're gonna do today, we are, you already know, I'm a mom, I'm auntie, chill vibes. So the things that I have to do, one, recover and sleep. I have to edit a YouTube video because like Wednesdays are my posting day so I have to get a video out so that I don't skip a day. Then I have to, I'm going to a bookstore, of course. Why are we not gonna, why are we not gonna go to a bookstore? Like, let's be for real. And then we're gonna go probably, I don't know how much sightseeing I'm gonna do because I didn't do my research on Paris beforehand. Don't butcher me, I'm doing that when I go to Nice, okay? Later on, like my Paris trip, when I'm here for multiple days, will be full of activities. For this one, it's very chill vibe. So bookstore, maybe walk around, just acclimate myself with the area, acclimate myself with public transport. It's a big thing that I need to do, especially because I'm gonna be moving a lot later at the end of my trip when I come back to Paris. So really get acclimated with the public transport system and how that works. Um, get acclimated a little bit with the city, um, acclimated with like the city culture and get some food and then do my job and edit. So that's my plan and I hope you guys enjoyed this little spill. I can't believe we're in Paris. Uh, Thank God, shout out to God. Um, this is my birthday trip. Um, by the time I post this, my birthday's already passed. But um, this is my birthday trip. And my birthday is July 28th. So yes, I'm here during the Olympics. Um, that's another thing that's like really gravitate me to France in general because I love the Olympics. Unfortunately, I don't have tickets or anything, but I love the Olympics and I was like, what's a better time to go to France? I don't speak French, but I know there's gonna be a lot of people coming in for the Olympics. So I know there's gonna be a lot more English speech going on. So I was like, you know what? Perfect time to go and vibe and be a tourist and not like really blend in, you know? I can really be like a real tourist and really do like touristy things because it's on brand, because it's the Olympics, you know what I mean? So I've been running my mouth a lot. I have, but let's go to the bookstore baby girl and men because i have a lot of men on this content on this channel too hey boys so um yeah let's get into it <laughs> Thank you. 
Hey guys, so as you can tell, I'm back in the hotel room. I got tea, and then I also got hot chocolate, because my hotel, they serve, like, coffee, lattes, um, tea, hot chocolate, cappuccino. They serve all that downstairs. So I'm drinking the hot chocolate now, and it's so good. Oh my gosh, it's so good situation because you know today is just like the precursor my introduction to Paris and so much fun so much fun I get why so many people come to the city I get why it's the most visited I get why people love it I get it and so I ended up going to two bookstores as you guys saw that was the first thing I did I went to two they were both super nice one of them I accidentally like stumbled into and it's apparently the first English bookstore in the continent of Europe and so I was like oh so I walked in there and they have like a good selection but like I was looking for really like I was looking for really specific books I'm trying not to just buy books on like a whim anymore or just buy things because I think they're pretty I'm actually like trying to buy books that I know for a fact I'm gonna read and I know for a fact that I'm interested in and so I was looking for some books that my subscribers recommended one of them mentioned this book called that's based off the movie Soylent Green and I looked up the book and it's like this dystopian thriller about like corporations and things like that and I was like absolutely want to read that and it's sci-fi fantasy absolutely want to read that and um so I was looking for that book in particular but that book came out in the 1970s I couldn't find it and so instead I got books that were on like my TBR that I wanted to buy, but I didn't get anything out of that bookstore. One thing that did catch my eye was Magnolia Parks though. Like y'all saw that I like pulled that because I really wanted that cover, but then I was like, I haven't read the book at all. So I don't know if I like the book. I don't know if this series is gonna be good. And then I don't wanna buy just book one and then have to come all the way back to the UK to try to find all those like special edition covers. So I was like, mm, I really don't wanna do that. but. I might just get like, I'm wondering if like they have Magnolia Parts on Kindle and then if they do when I come back to Europe at the end of the year, I can buy those, so we'll see. I ended up going to the bookstore that I really liked, which was also recommended by this other YouTuber. It was called Smith and & Sons. And that's like a UK bookstore that's in Paris. So like all of the theme is really like the United Kingdom. So it's not, in a, it's an English speaking bookstore, but it's really catered toward people from England, so English people, legitimately English people, or people from like Wales, Ireland, Scotland, so like the United Kingdom. That bookstore though was vibes. I really enjoyed it. And then they were gonna be closed for the Olympics. They close when the opening ceremony happens. And so, um, and they'll be closed the whole entire Olympic games because like where this bookstores were and the Louvre is, like it's near like some of the Olympic games situation and then they're blocking up a lot of traffic and stuff and so um they're gonna be close so i'm so glad i got up and went because y'all i'm so tired but i'm so glad i got up and went so there's two books that i got that i want to share with you guys so the first book i got is an ember and the ashes this book is recommended by katie is reading i love her vlogs i love her choice and books this is the uk cover normally the american cover has like a girl on it with like a sword and she has long hair um that's normally what's on the cover and it's usually has a white background and the girl's like colored like she's um she's actually colored like she has like brown skin um so that's normally what this book looks like what this book looks like i don't know much about the story i just know that katie was reading really enjoyed it this is a series and it's the first book in the series i actually like the american cover of this book but whenever i'm in the store and trying to get this book it's never in stock they always have like the other books in the series and never the first one y'all know i love a uk cover y'all know i love to be different so when i saw this i was like we're getting it we are getting it. And then the other book that I want to share is Empire of a Vampire. This book I have I know absolutely nothing about other than that it's vampires. And again, this is also a UK cover. Normally with this version also, it's uh I think it's a white book. And it has a man on the background. He has long black hair and he also has a sword, but it's a man. And I like this book because y'all remember I'm in a I'm in a vampire vibe. And I saw this book. And it is a bestseller, and but I haven't heard anything about it. I've heard I haven't heard anyone talk about it. I haven't heard anything special about it. So I was like, I'm getting this book. But those are the two books that I want to share with you guys, because these are the two books that I've 
definitely been wanting to get and have been on my actual TBR. So I was like, yeah, let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all what I got. And we love, we love, we love, we love a UK cover. After I got went to the bookstore, I went to a super cute restaurant. And I went in there because y'all know I love flowers and pink. And I went in there because it was vibes. And the food was so good. I got escargot. I got a mock pina colada. So it was a mocktail, but it was like a smoothie. So it had like healthy fruits in it and stuff. And I got margarita pizza. The pizza was okay. The pizza wasn't the best pizza I had, but it definitely hit the spot. But the escargot was definitely the star of the show. And the prices were reasonable. Like usually something like that um, in the States would probably be, at least in Atlanta, would probably run me up like $100 and I paid after tip like I think 45 euros and so I got like like I said I got a whole smoothie mocktail situation I got um escargot and I got you saw how big that pizza was and I'm not gonna be able to I'm not gonna need to eat again and honestly I'm not really hungry anyway and so um yeah it was worth it so that was my day and then I came back Thoughts about Paris, again, like I said, I love it. I love the vibe, I love the Parisians. A lot of people speak English. Again, I don't know if that's because of the Olympic Games or not, but a lot of people speak English, so I haven't had any issues navigating, getting around. The trains are super easy. One thing is like buying the tickets been a little weird. Like knowing if I'm gonna get like an actual ticket or if I'm gonna get an actual pass and then like scanning in because I'm so used to like tap, like everywhere else, you can just tap your phone and then pay. That part is weird. I'm used to it. Like every country has their own way of doing things. So that's just like weird for me because I'm not used to it. That's the only thing I would say is tricky about the public transport. It's super straightforward. Most of it is in French, but I mean, you like if you know how to, like if you know how to get around New York City or if you know how to get around London or anywhere, anywhere that has a public transport system, you'll be fine even though it's not in English. Like you'll be completely fine. That's it for right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm about to take this back I need to edit a video too before I go to bed. I'm gonna pack because I'm leaving tomorrow to go to Nice. Um, I hope you enjoyed my layover in Paris. I had so much fun. This was such a great introduction. And I think I'm gonna start doing that more often. Like if I take a really long trip, I'm gonna probably spend my first big leg from Atlanta to wherever part I'm going and just stay the day there and then leave the next day. If you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any recommendations, for next time I'm in Paris, because I'm always coming, I'm always down for a trip to London. Like, let's not play with it. And Paris is like right there. So if you're watching this, you have any recommendations of bookstores or just things to do, um, the bigger video is coming where it's like all like the big things like um, the Louvre, like a boat tour, boat cruise, um, investigating more of like the city more, more walking, more eating, that video is coming when I get back but um if you have any recommendations or anything you want to add or anything that I should have done um let me know in the comments and then y'all already know y'all already know y'all already know I did my research this time because I got the water because y'all know y'all like Scotland y'all ate me alive y'all ate me alive because I drank bottled water instead of tap but from the commenters they were saying to in Paris, it's fine for me to drink the bottle water. So y'all already know, y'all already know your girl is happy and fully satisfied with the bottle water. Oh gosh. I've already drank like two liters, like already off rip, already drank like two liters. Like the water is so good. But um, as always, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching and spending part of my birthday with me and if you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe, push notifications, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.